Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Norbal Kis Binti Rizwan. I am from IMS 556 ELEC B and for this subject, I will be presenting and introducing you to 5G. I am sure everyone knows what is 5G is. So today, I will be informing you on what is 5G, its brief history and future, comparison between 5G and 4G, and lastly, our country's first 5G network operator, yes, by YTL Communications. Let's start, shall we? In fact, 5G has been one of the most talked technological topics for the past few years. To simplify, as everyone knows, of course, 5G means faster networking. Especially in Malaysia, this year is all about 5G. We may consider quite slow and late in the party, but this year, networking companies have started to put in some actions to provide the best and fastest networking service for all. So, initially, what is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation mobile network. People and businesses will have access to 5G at speeds up to 100 times faster than 4G. This latest generation of wireless network technology aims to extend mobile technology's reach beyond LTE's capabilities. 5G wireless technology is meant to deliver higher multi-GBPS peak data speeds, ultra low latency, more reliability, massive network capacity, increased availability, and a more uniform user experience to more users. High performance and improved efficiency empower new user experiences and connects new industries. However, in comparison to other global wireless standards such as 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G networks, 5G enables a new type of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything, including machines, objects, and devices. Thus, the potential for 5G users is almost unfathomable. Now, let's talk about 5G's brief history and future. 5G de deployment began in 2018, with some countries moving as quickly as possible to supplant 4G in the favor of 5G. South Korea is the country which deployed the first 5G networks and is expected to stay in the lead as far as penetration of the technologies goes. The fifth generation was rolled out by KT, LG U+, and SK Telecom, which basically all South Korean telecom providers simultaneously. Meanwhile, large swaths of the United States have become 5G capable. According to some predictions, there will be at least 50 million 5G-related subscriptions by the end of 2021 in the country, an improvement of 6.5 million from 2020. These numbers are expected to accelerate as additional 5G infrastructure is deployed. As of June 2021, 58 nations had 5G networks, up from 38 a year ago, according to a report by the Global Mobile Suppliers Association, GSA. A dozen more have partially implemented 5G mobile technology. It has been seen that 5G is predicted to reach over 1 billion users in 3.5 years, compared to 4 years and 12 years for 4G and 3G, respectively. Moving on, now that we have seen how much advanced 5G really is, the ultimate question of ours will definitely be how much better it is comparing to 4G. Well, essentially, when it comes to the main feature, the speed comparison between both 5G and 4G, some experts now claim that 5G will be 20 times faster than 4G. In fact, the median 5G download speed in Canada is 169.46 Mbps. That's already 205% faster than 4G. Some of other differences between these two cellular networks are peak capacity, which of course 5G having the advantage of it, latency, which measures the time it takes for our phone to send a message to get a response. Shorter latency means quicker response interaction. And of course, the size of bandwidth is another significant difference between 4G and 5G. In addition to the network demands of linked automobiles and other Internet of Things devices, 5G should be able to support a large number of future devices. So, as a user and consumers, what does that mean to us? How beneficial it is to us? Well, greater amounts of information can transfer between devices faster than ever before, so high-density areas like airports and urban areas should experience fast speeds. 
tends to reduce latency and why the bandwidth users should be able to stream a 4K video in seconds. 5G should be the network that will provide the speed and efficiency that everyone needs. Finally, let's go through the adaptation of 5G technology in Malaysia. Personally, I would say Malaysia is a bit late comparing to other developed countries, but not too late in Southeast Asia. Nevertheless, 5G technology was released in Malaysia at the end of 2021, a year earlier than the originally announced date of 2022, making Malaysia one of the region's earliest 5G ecosystem builders. The first 5G connectivity supplied to their respective consumers inside the service zones by two of the country's oldest mobile operators, Telecom Malaysia Berhad, or known as TM, and YTL Communications Milan Berhad. Now, let's focus on YES by YTL Communications Milan Berhad. First of all, YTL Communications Milan Berhad is a global leader in 4G internet and operates the YES 4G network in Malaysia, which has statewide population coverage. For your information, YES has been the first in most of networking development in Malaysia, from 4G mobile operations, voice over LTE or known as Vault service, and now 5G technology. YES provides two types of plans which are SIM only and 5G phones. However, yes, 5G coverage is only available within selected coverage areas in Kuala Lumpur, Putrajaya and Cyberjaya and will plans to rapidly expand to all major cities by the end of 2022. Finally, to recapitulate, 5G has enormous potential as its capability has evolved way greater than any other cellular networks. The fact that 5G allows for a new type of network to connect nearly everyone and everything, including machines, objects, and gadgets, has proven it all. By comparing both 5G and 4G, we can see how big of a difference between these two are and of course, 5G holds the advantage of it, especially in terms of the speed peak capacity, latency, and size of bandwidth. Now, since 5G has arrived in Malaysia, the country's technology development is upgraded and there will be more possibilities that will bring huge advantage for us all. Hence, that is all from me. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.